When I was in high school, there was a teacher who was organizing a 30-day trip through Europe. You know, I was like, we can't afford this. But my grandfather actually told me, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, you're going. Went through Italy and France and Switzerland, Holland and England. I was 16 years old, you know, and a lot of funny stories about drinking beer on that trip, but that was the first time I had unfiltered English ale and some really interesting beers took a winemaking class my first quarter in college, and there was a brewing science program as well. It all clicked. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make beer. I was a worker you know, on a tomato farm. I was a line cook. I was a night auditor at UPS. Worked at a bank on Saturdays as a bank teller, concessionaire during basketball games at school, and I became a CPA. I was busy, yeah. I did tax for uh, one season and just decided that it was not for me. And I got a call from a beer company and decided to go work for a beer company instead. Release, I mean, just getting out of prison. My grandfather started a beer distributor in Pennsylvania. My father and his brothers took it over. When I was very young, I used to go to the distributor and break down empties and sweep floors. I took my driver's license test in a beer truck. Uh, I had a beer route before I had a license. So my whole life was in the beer business. New Realm is a project that I've been working on for about eight years. Bob was the first person that I went to to bring on board. We saw the industry developing and had an idea, combine great beer with fantastic food. Create something very special and very different here in Atlanta. So Carrie and I sat in a bar one night, this is a true story, and we were drinking way too many beers, probably one too many IPAs, and pulled out a napkin. And we decided to put together a list of the top 10 craft brewers in the world. Number one was Mitch, and we were going to make sure that he ended up here. The idea was starting something from the ground up and building a concept and building something really special. The beers we were gonna make and the names for the beers. Mitch basically can brew any style from Berliner Weisses to Munich Dunkels, lagers. He literally wrote the book on IPAs. Almost like a celebrity, everyone knows who Mitch is. And people walk up to him in bars constantly while we're out and introduce themselves and want to take a picture and get his autograph. <laughs> <laughs> This was never just about getting talented people and putting them under one roof. This was always about doing it differently, creating a new realm in the beer business. We tried to create a menu that offered something for all of our customers and something that would pair with a wide array of beers. The shrimp tacos are unbelievable. The pretzel truly is fantastic. The mac and cheese is amazing. It does make my mouth water. <laughs> yeah. The banana pudding is just a gooey, wonderful, tasty treat. We have three guys with 30 years experience each, and we know what we're doing. We're a passionate group of craft beer brewers. And this is the culmination of our life's work.